Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back to another awesome tutorial about MIPS assembly language programming. In this tutorial, well, as usual, I'm very excited because I want to talk to you about while loops and arrays. So uh, while loops and arrays, they go hand in hand because as you know, arrays have multiple values and while loops are very good at handling multiple values like um, because they allow you to do repetition uh, you can actually manipulate uh, arrays in very concise manner in a very concise manner so uh, last time I taught you how you can actually store values to random access memory and how you can declare an array and then you have the index and actually how you can actually um, store the values uh, at the location that you specify by the index so zero first location you add four is the second location you add four more then it's gonna be the third location so right now we have these th these three numbers F uh, uh, array sub zero has four array uh, sub one has uh, the value of 10 and the third element has 12 so I want to show you a way to actually um, use a loop so that you can print all the values in the array. So how can we do this? Well, first of all, let's make a while loop. Uh, give it a name. And you also need the exit label. And we need the index. So we have to clear T0. Uh, clear dollar sign T0 uh, because we need an index, right? So to zero. So at immediate dollar sign t zero comma dollar sign zero comma zero. So uh, t zero is now the index and it's clear. So we need a condition, right? The condition is gonna be the following branch if equals dollar sign t zero twelve exit. So if the value in T0 is equal to 12, then break out of the while loop. Because remember, we have three elements, and we want to uh, we want to go through all three, and so we need 12 bytes. So whenever the index or the off the index is, is equal to 12, we just break out of the loop. And you know that you have to say jump to while because this is what makes the while loop work so it's going to be repeating over and over again and uh, we need this right um, what, do we, what do we want to do well we want to uh, load word dollar sign let's say t6 dollar, um, my array and dollar sign t0 so load the first element to the register dollar sign t6 the first number and then i just want to print it out loading media dollar sign v0 comma one and then i say add immediate dollar sign a zero dollar sign um t6 comma zero so the value in t6 is going to be moved to a zero actually you can i'll make it easier for you you can say move dollar sign a zero dollar sign t six using a pseudo instruction, and I missed the comma right there. So you see, from t six it's gonna go to a zero, and finally Cisco. So this line right here, this is gonna print the number, print current number, and then what I want to do is that I also want to have like a new line so I'm gonna make a new line uh, colon dot ASCII Z and it's gonna be backslash n because I want to display a new line just to make it look better so print a new line so loading media dollar sign v0 comma 4 for text and then I say load address dollar sign is 0 comma a uh, new line and finally I say Cisco and this is gonna show the number and this is going to print a new line but 
we need to update the offset every iteration, every repetition, we need to add four to it. Because remember that if we don't do that, then this loop is gonna be repeating forever it's because T0 will never be 12. So we need to update the offset. We need to uh, modify the value of the offset so that it actually tells us the right value um, for every iteration and it also um, is able to to end the loop. So we, how do we do that? Well, we're going to say add, it, add immediate dollar sign t0 dollar sign t0 comma 4. So what this line right here is going to do is that every time, every time um, that we repeat the while loop, 4 is going to be added to to the to the index so it's going to be 0 then 4 then 8 and finally 12 and when it is equal to 12 it's going to exit it's going to go to exit so what do we want to do in exit in exit we just want to tell system this is end of program i mean you don't have to do this but it's good practice because I don't want to do anything else, so I'm just going to end the program right here. So I'm going to say loading media dollar sign v0, 10 and Cisco. And it's also good practice to have uh, a label for your main function right here. So that's also good practice right there. So now if we execute the code, save, wrong, assemble, and execute, voila, we get 4, 10, and 12. So let me walk you one more time. This is what I did. I declared an array. It had uh, for for three elements for three integers beca because three times four is twelve bytes. I have a, a new line character so that my output looks nicer. And then in these three registers, I put the values four, ten, and twelve. Then I needed an index. Uh, so that I can actually uh, store the values at, at the right position. So first po first position is index 0 right here. Add a 4 to it. Uh, so the second element is at index 4. And add a 4 more. So the third element is at index 8. Then because I want to display all the elements. Um, I just do the following. I clear T0 because I want to use it as my index, as my index again for the while loop. So I made two uh, two labels, one called while and the other exit. And in the while loop, the exit condition is going to be uh, that the value in the index is equal to 12. Then I want to break out of the loop. I want to end the loop. I load uh, the right value from the array. And then I update the offset. And I print the right value to the screen. And I also print a new line to make it look nicer and I continue iterating or I, I, con I go back to while I jump back to while and I continue going back until T0 is 12 once it is once it is 12 it's gonna go to exit and here the program is gonna end so thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and well see you next time with uh, and don't forget to subscribe thank you